Hello there, in this video I want to show you how you can create a book cover with artificial intelligence. In my previous video I told how to create an interior with artificial intelligence. But as you understand, of course, you need the cover too. So if you didn't see that video, there is a link that you can click and see everything. Before my journey appears, I used to Canva or Creative Fabrica to find a different images that I need to use for my interiors and uh, cover as well. In Creative Fabrica you still can find uh, thousands of different images you can use for your interior and cover. Moreover, there are more than 100 thousands fonts that you can upload and use in your designs. And of course, don't forget about interiors and covers on Creative Fabric as you already can upload directly to the KDP. But please don't do it. Don't forget about Unique. You need to make some changes. So if you're interested in the link, you will find in the description below this video. Now let's go to the Discord. And here is my Midjourney account in Discord. In previous video, I created some images for interior. So in this video, let's go and create image for our cover. So I used the same prompt, but in previous video, we used colon page for kids. In this case, we use illustration for kids, not colon page. Uh, as you see, the prompt pretty similar to previous one. A family on giraffe grazing in a greasy savanna with trees and birds in the background. Let's go here, column page for kids, a family of giraffes grazing greasy savannah with trees and birds in the background, so the same. But there is cartoon style, thick lines, slow detail, no shading for children aged, yeah. Let's go here, cartoon style, so thick lines, slow detail, no shading, vivid colors, I used vivid colors. Instead of for children, ages six and eight and uh, as i understand no shading yeah no shading the same and ar it's aspect ratio 9 by 11. in the best aspect ratio for books uh, 8.5 uh, by 11 obviously so here is my journey created uh, for images in this case just look I see the first one was okay, the second one okay, the last um, no, and this one is pretty interesting. So I upscaled this one. Here it is. I just uh, want to save you time. I created already. So there is this image. Open browser, click, and download. So now we need to go to the Canva and create our cover. But before we do it, we need to understand what dimensions we need to create for our cover. So let's go to the KDP documentation. And here we are. This is a print cover calculator and templates. The link to this page I will leave in the description below this video. And let's go. Binding type. In our case, it will be paperback. Black and white. Uh, white paper left to right measurement let it be inches and our size is 8.5 uh, by 11 and we need to choose how many pages we will create in our case let it be 110 calculate dimensions and here you go full cover this is the dimensions we need to create in canva let's go here is my canva account Let's create a custom size, choose inches, 25, create a design. And again, I forgot to mention that before you use Midjourney images, you need to upscale them. The same I forgot to tell you in my previous video. So create image in Midjourney and then upscale. Only after that you can use it for your books. There is a website I like to use to upscale my images. There is drop a file. Let's take our file, PNG, and upscale it. How many times you want to upscale? Let it be 8. You can use 10, whatever. Okay, let's take 10. Submit. And here we are. Let's download it. Okay, zoom in. Just see how big this image is. 
save it now it's how many sorry how much get info oh my god 100 megabytes <sighs> oh my god so you can use not 10 times upscale you can use 5 6 because the image is too big but let's try to work with them so here we're back there is upload take our png file And there's upload error, so uh, must be less than 25 megabytes. Okay, let's go back. So let's use four times. While we're waiting, don't forget to give me a thumb button if you like such kind of videos and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to see when I produce a new video. Let's go back. Here is our image and check how much megabytes now it is show in finder get info 22 okay perfect let's go to our canva here is canva let's delete this and take our also we need to download this template download template and use it in canva here it is. Now we see all outlines that we need to avoid. I mean all our fonts information should be inside these lines. So let's take our cover. There is front cover. This is the spine and there is a back. Let's choose for example this square. Increase it. Use different color. For, for example something from this image here you go photo colors this one no too much no I like this one let it be and now check the outlines transparency this and this okay here you go okay enough back Okay, now obviously it's a coloring book for kids, so let's take this text and type. Now let's change the font and add some effects. Outline, yeah. Uh, the main color is white and effect color is outline is black. Solid colors, black. Okay, why I didn't choose? Easier. Thickness, yeah, 70. Okay, the same for this. Black, outline, thickness. I want to see their faces, maybe let it be a little bit, something like this. Now we need to add some our interior. It's a good way to show your customers what they will find in your book. For example, let it be these images, come on. Now we need to not adjust there is a new tool okay mm, use new photo editor I like all old experience so uh, old editor where is my yeah there is shadows and the same there is this image if you already find in new editor of Canva these shadows, please leave the comment and tell me where I can uh, find these shadows because I always used old experience version. And double check. Click here. Again, transparency. Here is our barcode. Everything okay. The outline lines okay. Back. And choose this one. Check. 
as you see our font is inside this line so everything will be okay and here we are our cover so this is it we create our cover now we can use this pdf file and download it directly to the amazon kdp and start to make some money so for those of you who are new here and you didn't see a video about how to create an interior with ai there is a video that i tell everything in detail but in case you already create your interior cover and want to know how to upload it directly to the amazon kdp there is a video so thank you for watching this video any comments leave them below this video i will answer them as soon as possible and hope i will see you in the next video bye bye